over in the French capital for the annual charity match at the Cologne Stadium against the racing club, the Arsenal. And ooh la la, vive l'Arsenal! The Londoners in white shorts turn on full steam right from the start. And by half time they're leading by three goals to naught, and in the second half they get two more to win by five naught. Watch the last one. French goalie Hidan falls on it, but they kick it away from him, and in it goes. Meanwhile at Hanover, Germany's playing rugger in the international match against France. Germany all in white keep level up to half time, but after that, France go ahead. Watch one of the runs in which France shows Germany just how rugger should be played. No wonder they look sad, and in the end, France win by six points to three. Once the captain of the American steamer Bessemer City was in command of a ship. Now he seems to have two. For when the Bessemer City was driven onto the rocks near St. Ives, her back was broken as cleanly as though she'd been cut in two by some giant hacksaw. When the ship first struck soon after midnight, the local coast guard gave the alarm, and the St. Ives lifeboat took off the crew of 33 and the cat. We understand that there's no truth in the rumor that attempts are to be made to have the Bessemer City refloated. Somehow I don't think she would. To say that London has its Northampton Engineering College doesn't sound right, but it is. The college is in Clerkenwell Road, and today the boys are out for their annual rag. He's going to sweep up after. They've got plenty of soot, rotten eggs, and soft fruit. So look out, boys. Anything may happen. They say that two blacks don't make a white. But after this, some of them will be too black for words. Knock, knock. Who's there? Ella. Ella who? Ella Varau is what they make. <laughs> Hurry up, boys. It's bath night. Lord Nuffield arrives at Olympia to open the 21st Cycle and Motorcycle Show. And perhaps it's significant that one of England's greatest motor manufacturers still takes an interest in cycles. In his speech, Lord Nuffield describes how he used to pick his bicycle up, throw it into a hedge and find it there when he came back, hours later. That's nothing, I can do that with my baby car. Only I don't get it back until the police find it for me. Lord Nuffield tours the show on the sort of machine that he uses to go round his own works. He finds much that's new. Bicycles of special light alloys. Skinny Sam, the nearly invisible man. Motorcycles that make less noise than ever, and three-wheelers with car comfort at cycle price. When the 5,000-ton Italian ship Iris caught fire at sea, a captain unwittingly paid a superb tribute to the London Fire Brigade. Instead of trying to put the fire out themselves, he ordered the crew to devote all their energies to getting the ship into the London docks as quickly as possible, so that our fire brigade could take charge. Now she rests on the Thames mud, with fire floats, high pressure pumps and miles of hose, flooding her blazing holes with water by the thousand of gallons. But even so, it'll be days before her cargo of cattle food ceases to smolder and her hold becomes clear of smoke. 150,000 Italians and 10,000 banners to celebrate the 14th anniversary of the fascist march on Rome. But more than that, it's the occasion for Mussolini to deliver one of his fiery speeches a speech that has set European political parlours agog with excited discussion. Apparently the Duce wants to convince us that he's willing to let bygones be bygones if we recognise Italian sovereignty over Ethiopia. And if we don't, what then? Mussolini speaks and all Rome listens. And when he's finished, does Rome agree with him? After seeing these pictures, I'm not sure. Bonfire days are here again, and the little people of Wanstead's children's home, like thousands of others, are getting ready to celebrate Guy Fawkes Day. And cool! Isn't it a jolly bonfire? It must be the biggerest ever. And when they set light to it presently, it'll flare up like billio. I'll bet a penknife to a toffee apple it'll be seen all over China. Poor old Guy Fawkes.
but at the Liverpool Zoo they're lazy, so they're having the job done for them. Princess Monacy is 11 years old and once belonged to an Indian princess. Now she seems to have come down in the world, but she still keeps her tail up. <laughs>